Hello and welcome to Learn to Drive the Easy Way. I'm approved driving instructor Michael Gambin and I'm going to show you how to drive manual, automatic and cars fitted with disability controls in the easiest way possible. So sit back, relax and enjoy. And remember to hit the subscribe button underneath to see all of our videos. Okay, so what we're going to talk about now is clutch control. Now, clutch control is what we use for maneuvers, but also we do use it on the drive if we're trying to creep out from a side street, for instance, or if we're trying to edge out from a parking space. Now, clutch control is the art of basically keeping the car very slow using the clutch only. Sometimes you may need to use the petrol if the car's underpowered or if you're going up a hill, but otherwise, if you can, try to use your clutch only, that's best. It will help prolong the life of your clutch. Now, if you want the car to go faster, you bring it up. And if you want it to slow down, you put it down. So if you want to speed up, bring it up. And if you want to slow down, put it down. But try to make very small movements. The bigger the movements, the harder you make it. So if you can minimize those movements, you don't have to re-hunt where the bite point is. The next part is the steering. Now, when it go, comes to moving forwards, most people will be fine because if you turn left, you turn left, and if you go right, you turn right. But a lot of people think it's the opposite when it's down to reverse, and that's not the case at all. It's exactly the same. If you are reversing and you want the back of the car to steer to the left, so you want it to go towards your passenger, you want to steer towards your passenger. And if you want the back of your car to steer to the right, you steer to the right. So you do exactly the same. Again, it's a psychological thing where people feel that it's called reverse, so the steering must be reversed, and it's not. What you want to remember is when you reverse, it's the front wheels that still does the steering. The back doesn't steer, okay? The back wheels stay straight. So the front wheels will pivot with your steering wheel. So, what we're going to show you now is how to use that clutch control. Now, it's all about very small movements. So if we want the car to move, we are going to bring the clutch up to the bite point and that will make the car move nice and slow. Now, if I want to slow down, I put the clutch down a little bit. You can see it's not a big movement at all. It's very slight. So it's just up to make it move, down to slow it down. So up to speed up, down to slow down up to speed up, down to slow down. Now you can see I'm stuck in the drain, so I'm just having to be a bit more delicate with it to make it move again. What we want to avoid is any big movement. So if we bring it up too high, it will go too fast. So when we put it back down again, it will carry on moving. Now if we bring it up again a bit too quick, you'll get that rattle. So we want to be nice and delicate to make the car stay nice and slow. I hope this video has helped and I look forward to seeing you on the next video which I would advise to do your manoeuvres or to look at your manoeuvres.